Welcome to Shea Timber. This is where we're going to be for the next 30 days starting three goals, or in my case, four goals to keep in track. Every day you're doing these goals to put the, to achieve something that you normally wouldn't do or to just make yourself feel better or lose weight, whatever the goals are applying to. And um, my goals are that I'm doing 100 crunches and I'm walking the beach over by here by my house. Um, I'm going to practice my clarinet again for 30 minutes every day. And I'm going to play a song for you guys at the end of the month on September 30th. And then my, um, and the first two parts were together. The walking and the crunches are together. And then my third goal is that I have this time management thing. So it's like in the morning I'm still always, even though I'm here in college on my own, um, I'm still running around, sort of, kind of trying to get everything ready to make sure I have everything ready for school and stuff. So my other goal is that I have everything ready and put out that I need to put out the night before school or whatever day. It's doing, I'm doing it every day. So if all I have to do one day is get ready to go out with my friends, I'm going to have my clothes out or my money together and everything or whatever. And then the um, fourth goal is that um, I have a video out talking about how my day's been. And showing you that I am still doing my goals. So later on in this video, I will do my 100 crunches for today because today is September the 2nd. I did them yesterday. My roommate could contest to that. And then, um, and I did my clarinet. And I didn't walk because it was too late in the evening and it started kind of sketchy around here. So I really didn't want to walk. What? Did I do everything I was supposed to do yesterday but walk? Yes. Okay, thanks. Um, and then today I will walk, even if it's still raining, because it's raining right now. But I will be walking. In the um, but I'll probably take you out on the walk with me to talk with you a little bit and whatever else happens. And just wish me luck and I wish you all good luck. Whoever else is going to do, do this, because we can do this. We can change our lives. Remember what Shay says, today is the first day of the rest of your life. And you mess up today, you got tomorrow. So keep going. See, I have everything in a place where I see it every day so I can see what I'm doing to make sure to keep myself motivated and mark everything off. It's like, schedule for school, know what time for buses and stuff. You don't really know that. You know that, but I have my calendar and I have my goals up. And it's like 100 crunches, practicing the clarinet, getting ready for the night before, for the, or getting ready the night before for the next day. And then editing my videos and um, doing a video telling you how I'm doing and everything. And then it's like I got everything set up. I got already things on my calendar written on that are important events for me for school and living at the dorms here. And then I already have it where it says the first day of the rest of my life. You know, thanks, Shay. So, like, that's one of my favorite things to see. And then I really love this. Um, this is from my school. I go to the Art Institute. And this is f um, quotes and stuff or calendars that people have made. Um, for backgrounds and everything that says life is a battle with art in it and I think that was inspirational thinking of like you know oh we're fixing to go into battle to change our lives a little bit so I think it's appropriate and then it said art is what helps shape society throughout time and then it's the um, student that got it he got ninth place so he got the ninth month um, and I thought that was pretty cool considering that you know we're all trying to shape our lives and everything like that and art helps society and we just want to help shape our own lives so I thought that was pretty cool and then my birthday is on the 7th my birthday I'm so excited so I'm, it's not like because it's my birthday I'm going to skip out on my goals I will be doing my goals properly I will be doing my goals wholeheartedly every day I did it yesterday didn't do it quite exactly how I was supposed to but I will be doing it from here on out correctly and oh look it stopped raining already you can hear see but it's wet outside it stopped raining so that means I can still go on my run or well walk I can't run I'll go on my walk and you'll go with me now for my hundred crutches oh dear what? crunches yeah it's gonna hurt so bad because my stomach still hurts from yesterday
So, so, so bad. Uh, I have to check on my uh, You made me skip from two to five. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Can't count. Okay. Three. Four. Five. Two more, two more, two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. Ten more, ten more, ten more.
I wanted to talk before the I don't have any more lights because the section of the beach I walk isn't really that bright and so uh, and then also I can't flash a light by the beach because it's turtle season and so the turtles you know they don't like bright light they don't they don't get dizzy by the red light but they get dizzy by white light from a flashlight or something so I just wanted to let you guys know uh, there will be a moment that you'll be in pure blackness and you won't see anything but you'll be able to hear the Atlantic Ocean and maybe see some lights from the um, the barges from further out to sea and stuff but here you go I don't think you can really pick up what I'm looking at right now it's so gorgeous but if you see those little specks of light far, far out there, those are really, really large boats. Oh, that's the city. But that, those three lights all the way out there. Maybe you can see this one. Over. No, it is, the camera's not picking it up. But these three lights, they're really large barges. And the noises you're hearing over my voice, whoa, whoa, whoa is the ocean which I almost got soaked in. I'm wearing my tennis shoes. I do not need to get my shoes wet. <laughs> I just wanted to get up close as I can. The moon's out right now. It's almost it's like it just started going back towards a new moon. So it's still pretty full but it's not bright enough for you guys to pick up what I'm looking at. But I just like to sit here for a minute and listen to the ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. It's like, I really hate the beach, but I think it's funny since I moved back to Florida that the Atlantic Ocean has been calling to me. I try to come out here as much as I can. I think it's gorgeous. And I don't come out during the day, which is funny. I come out at night. I think it's gorgeous. Maybe I would have liked it more back in Sarasota if I was able to go out at night. But, you know, being a kid, you can't really do that if you want. But as an adult, you can go and leave and come when you feel like it. And it's just, it's beautiful. And like the first time I came out here, I think about two weeks into my first quarter, or well, a week into my first quarter, and then um, two weeks into me first being here, it just sort of kind of made me think there's another person waking up on the other side of this body of water, getting ready for their day in their village, in the city, wherever they are, Europe, Africa, otherwise, there's somebody right now, and it's like it's nighttime for us, it's, it's almost 11 o'clock right now, and it's just it's amazing what a body of water can do, that it's the beginning of another day over there, and we're just ending ours, but if I stick my hand into this water, somebody's sticking their hand into this water at the same time as me, but it's a complete different day almost for them and I just think of that that it's like we're all connected this water connects us all this water goes to from the Atlantic to the the Gulf around to the Pacific the Pacific to the Indian the Indian to the Atlantic the Arctic the Atlantic to the Arctic it's just so many people were connected and it just makes me happy that I can just say that I'm changing my life and I hope somebody on the other side of this body of water is changing theirs too for the better, just like I am. Have a good night. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.